Hi, my name is Don, owner of The Nation's Attic, and we have a classic World War II United States Navy Mark V diving helmet for sale. The World War II era Mark Vs are probably the most popular. And we have one of these right here. Now this is a late war example. This one was made on February 2nd, 1945 by Desco. And at that time they were called the Diving Equipment and Salvage Company. And, and they're located in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, and they are still in business today. So this classic helmet, uh, as a side note, uh, we recently purchased it from a family. And this family had actually moved to the United States from Argentina uh, within the last few months. This helmet had been in Argentina uh, for decades and decades. And through some research, uh, checking with Desco as well, uh, they indicated that there was a lot of uh, uh, gold exploration in Argentina after World War II. And obviously the military uh, needed diving equipment as well. So a lot of surplus World War II equipment uh, was sent to that or sold to that country. Um, it's possible a commercial diver uh, may have purchased this helmet as well. But that's just part of this helmet's history, which we will put uh, into the certificate of authenticity that we send with this helmet. Uh, as we take a look at it, it's got a wonderful patina to it. Um, now, these would have been tinned originally at the Desco factory, meaning they would have had a gray finish to the copper body. That is all gone. Uh, this helmet has certainly been used, so it is all gone. But it does have a nice patina to it. Uh, this helmet is also nice and complete. Um, we've got the, the all four of the brails here along the bottom. We do have 11 of the 12 wing nuts present. One wing nut here on the back is missing. Uh, visually on the back, not that big a deal. Um, but we've got the guards for the glass. Uh, the glass is all original and it's still in great shape as well. Right here on the identification plate, once again, this is a Desco helmet made February 2nd, 1945. We also have the serial number, uh, which is clear right here, and then we have a United States Navy inspection stamp. That indicates that this helmet was inspected by the Navy and accepted into their inventory. So this was one that the United States government purchased, had at some point sold a surplus, somehow ended up in Argentina, came back to the United States recently, uh, and then we purchased it. Uh, so that's kind of the lineage of this particular helmet. But the United States Navy stamp right there, very important to know uh, when it was originally sold and to who. Now the serial number just to the left of that stamp also is on the inside of both of the neck rings of this helmet, uh, on the breastplate and the bonnet neck ring. Uh, so we know top and bottom are serial numbers matching, which is important for any Mark V. So as we take a look around here, as I mentioned, pretty much complete, just missing one wing nut, uh, and that's all. Um, if we go around to the back here, rarely do we ever find these with the communications cap still intact, but this one is. We have a non-return valve still intact as well with a cap on the end of it. These are always missing. Now the non-return valve is marked DESCO, and it also has a United States Navy stamp on it, which is even better. Um, it, it's not a far cry to say these two pieces have always been with this particular helmet. Um, as we take a look here at the bonnet, we do have working dents up here. Um, this helmet was certainly used. Um, none of them penetrate the copper body, but there are numerous working dents up here. Some discoloration uh, up here as well, but really doesn't affect uh, the visual display of this helmet. Uh, up here on the top front, um, this top window is pushed in just a little bit, um, pushed into the right, either during when this helmet was being used, uh, underwater, maybe they, they, they hit something, or when the helmet, uh, when the bonnet was taken off, it was set down maybe a little bit too hard. Uh, but that is present there. On the inside, all the air vents, as they should, are present. Uh, there's actually a little bit of communications wire still sticking uh, from the inside as well. So overall, classic World War II example. These are the ones uh, that just keep going up in value every year. Everybody wants the World War II examples like this one. It has certainly been there and been on many jobs, and you can certainly tell by just looking and feeling this helmet. So a wonderful example. As always, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to give us a call. Uh, our country code is 1. Our area code is 316-371-1828. Of course, our email address is helmets at nationsaddict.com. 
and our website is oldhelmet.com. Once again, my name is Don, owner of The Nation's Attic, and I certainly look forward to talking to you. Thanks.